Ciao, it's Parani here. Welcome to a new episode of Girls Gone Global, Italy edition. Today, I'm going to be taking you through a tour of the Italian Hello. grocery shopping experience. The Italian grocery shopping experience is complex. Local Italian shoppers use a combination of supermarkets and open air markets. For this episode, we have interviewed six local Italians through four locations. Conat, Care for Express, Mercado San Cosimoto in the heart of Trastevere, and Mercado Centrale located in Termini Station. We are aiming to show you how the Italian grocery shopping experience demonstrates both globalization and preservation of local food cultures. To demonstrate this, we will be focusing on two concepts that relate to our topic. McDonaldization to show the globalization and the slow food movement to show the preservation of local food culture. McDonaldization is the process in which the principles of fast food restaurants come to dominate more and more sectors of society throughout the world. These principles are efficiency, predictability, calculability, and control. The slow food movement strives to preserve traditional and regional cuisine and encourages farming that is characteristics of local ecosystems. They have three main goals, taste education, defense of biodiversity, and interaction between food producers. These two concepts are evident in reasons why local Italians choose to shop at both supermarkets and open air markets. Now, follow along as I take you on a journey. I heard he spent 500 pounds on jeans Goes to the gym at least six times a week Wears boat shoes with no socks on his feet And I hear he's on a new diet and watches what he eats He's got his eyebrows plucked and his asshole bleach Owns every single ministry CD Tribal tattoos and he don't know what it means But I heard he makes you happy so that's fine by me Still, I'm just keeping it real Still looking at your Instagram and I'll be creeping a little First, we'll explore how McDonaldization is demonstrated in these various grocery shopping experiences. So this fiber. So you get your Sometimes fresh. they have uh, offers. Yeah. With good price. Mm -hmm. So you get your fresh produce at the open markets, open air markets. Not always. Today I bought uh, vegetables here because Close yeah, on a hurry. Okay. So um, they used uh, natural ingredients yes, to make everything. Yes. And then what do you think changed that? Uh, the fact that the women probably in Italy they work more than they used to do and so they don't have time, you see. Oh, and the grandmothers that used to look after the children are working now. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. because uh, the market is open every day and we live close so we don't have to buy in bulk as well. So it's easy to function here as, an, as a foreigner. Do you think that um, makes it easier for you to want to come here and yeah. shop more than, other than it being very close to where you live? No, I mean, I like, I like it and I like the fact that uh, I can speak English and kind of get the job done. And then I always used to shop there. I see, okay. Because there is quite a variety. You can buy vegetables, you can buy meat, you can buy fish. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can buy you know, whatever, so it's a good place, it's a good variety, it's a good... Cool. So do you prefer this one to the Campo de Fiori or do you... Well, I live here. Yeah, I live near here, so mm -hmm. it's much easier it's for me with the motorbike to come. Yes. And then your friends, my friends, <laughs> my family, family. My, family. my family. So, but so, uh, sometimes we also we always go. We also go to Campo de Fiori. Campo de Fiori. So, okay. And um, what makes you decide to go to Campo de Fiori rather than here? Because maybe we go to the restaurant over there. We go making a walk on uh -huh. the southern side, and so we decide to go there. To come here or versus the grocery store that you usually go to what is it that you like about those well, close to home, home uh, also the price is uh, uh, cheaper pretty good uh, pretty good prices wow wasn't that fascinating now continue along with on this journey with me as we explore how the slow food movement is demonstrated in these various grocery shopping experiences what um, kind of items do you get at the open air markets versus grocery stores? Mm, well, vegetables. Vegetables at the open yes. air markets. And why, why is that? Also. Fruits. I have the impression is 
<laughs> but like fresh produce, I like to come here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any vegetable or produce in particular that you buy here? No, I buy most of it. I buy fruit, anything fresh. Oh, okay. Do you? What's the reason why? Do you think it's just we know the better here? And this oh. friend of my wife. Oh, connection. Okay. And and the food lasts longer. So oh, it does. It's longer shelf life. Are you good friends with people who work here? Ah, uh, yes. I'm very good friends of these guys. <laughs> I'm very good friends with the people of the music. Uh, so mm -hmm. they're very kind. Uh, mm -hmm. I said, then if you don't have money, you can just make credit and then you can pay. Pay back next time. Oh, yeah, wow. That's so, nice. Yeah. Uh, they make you a present. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's nice. oh, wow. That's, uh, 90% I would say that they come from Italy, the products. Mm -hmm. Ah, the products, yeah. right. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, we we have the the so-called kilometer zero. Mm -hmm. So uh, some, uh, there, are, there are products that are from, uh, we say, from the camp to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, I would say that 90% are from... from. Uh, because it is, it is a tradition, because I think that the local markets usually sell um, fresh products mm -hmm. rather than the, uh, and the, um, to the hypermarkets, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the gross. Um, the grocery yeah, supermarkets. Yeah, the grocery supermarkets, mm -hmm. because it's, it's a tradition that people come to, to make a walk. Uh, we have many campaigns from the Association of the Agricultures. Oh. Yes, uh, one is it's called Campagna Nica, which is a friendship campaign uh -huh. from an association it's called Col Diretti, which is a which is an, is, it's an association of agricultures, mm -hmm. uh, and they usually sell products in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, this kilometer zero products, what I was saying. Mm -hmm. uh, so they make it to, to support agriculture in general. Oh, okay. So they sell their own products. Um, oh, all yes, right. yeah, it's a, another way to support local products. Mm -hmm. I usually get everything in one place, um, but uh, if I need a meal uh, or uh, fruits, I go to the market in Pistaccio. Mercado uh, Pistaccio. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, also, it's uh, expensive, uh, but um, they have a lot of different uh, products. Uh, quality. From. Where it's from? Uh -huh. Do you, is that important. really important? It's important uh, all, uh, more about meal and fr fruits. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, in Italy, we have also in oil. Oh. Oil, uh, uh, it's uh, important uh, to buy Italian oil mm -hmm. uh, because we have uh, more uh, tasting mm -hmm. on the oil, on the products, oh. on the olive. Yes, yes, yes. Than the other places. More experience. Thank you for joining me today on this journey through the Italian grocery shopping experience. Today, through the lens of McDonaldization, we saw many local Italians value efficiency, convenience, and predictability. Like Dimitri, who goes to Mercado San Casimodo because it's close to home and he can easily communicate with the people who work there. It's value quality, freshness, and locality of food products, which demonstrates the principles of the slow food movement. Like Francesca, who told us she likes to shop at Mercado San Casimodo because 90% of the food products there are zero kilometer food products, meaning they signify local, low impact, primary ingredients. This left us with a lot of insight on the Italian grocery shopping experience and how it demonstrates both globalization and preservation of local food culture. I hope this inspires you to question the choices behind your grocery shopping experiences in the future. See you guys next week on another episode of Girls Gone Global Italy Edition. Ciao! Put your hands in! Group one, we did it! Yay! <laughs>